Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Meron tayo ulit ditong problem na merong relationship yung back EMF dun sa speed ng ating motor. It says here, a shunt motor draws a current of 40 amperes from a 120 volt source and runs at 1,200 RPM at rated load. The armature and field circuit resistances are 0.1 ohm and 60 ohms respectively. Determine the speed of the motor at half load. Assume a brush drop of 2 volts at rated load and 1 volt at half load. So meron tayong dalawang condition, yung full load at yung isa naman po, yung half load. Yung meron siyang tinukoy dito, yung uh, terminal voltage that is 120 volts. Then yung... 40 amperes dito, this is the line current during rated load. Ilagay lang po natin dito. The line current during the full load or the rated load, this is 40 amperes. And wala siyang tinukoy na line current during half load. The next we have the 1200 RPM, this is the speed during full load. Yung armature circuit resistance that is given as 0 0.1 ohm while the 60 ohms dito, that is the field circuit resistance. Ang hinahanap natin ngayon yung speed during half load. Let's indicate that as NH. At meron din siyang tinukoy na brush drop during rated load and half load. That is during the full load, VB is equal to 2 volts tapos during the half load VBH this is equivalent to 1 volt para makuha natin yung half load speed kunin natin yung back EMF during full load and half load nandito yung line current IL then we have here the IA and nandito naman yung ating ISH. And according dun sa direction ng mga kuryente natin, we have the positive and the negative. Lagay din po natin dito yung VB, brush drop. In order to determine the counter EMF or the back EMF, gawa tayo dito ng isang loop. Let's say that is Kirchhoff's voltage law at loop 1. KVL at loop 1 positive negative tayo doon unahin natin dito sa terminal voltage we have the positive 120 volts next punta tayo dito sa armature resistance that is negative IA times RA minus IA ang value ng RA natin ay 0 0.1 ohm next minus VB Next, minus the back EMF. Equal to zero. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. Transpose natin sa kabila. Magiging positive yan. So, positive EB equals 120 volts minus IA times 0 0.1 ohm minus VB. Ngunit ang given sa atin dito, that is the line current, that is 40 amperes during full load, hanapin din natin yung value ng ating armature current. In order to determine that, maglagay tayo dito ng isang node, Kirchhoff's current law, at node A. That is summation of current in equals summation of current out. From our feature, IL lang ang pumapasok dito sa ating uh, node A. So that is IL equals yung lumalabas ng mga kuryente, that is the IA and ISH. IA plus ISH. Given yung value ng IL, ang inahanap natin dito, that is the value of the IA, pwede nating makuha yung value ng ISH. 
using the formula ISH equals VSH all over RSH or that is the VSH is equal to VT or the terminal voltage since connectado sila in parallel. We have here 120 volts. Divide natin to ng 60 ohms. This will give us 2 amperes. Substitute natin yung value dito sa equation na to. We have the value of IL is 40 amperes equals IA plus 2 amperes. Pag transpose natin ito sa kabila, magiging negative yan. Therefore, IA is equal to 40 amperes minus 2 amperes. This is 38 amperes. Pero etong value ng IA is at full load. Na pwede na natin tong i-substitute dito sa equation na to in order to determine the value of the back EMF during full load. So at full load, EB FL equal to 120 volts minus 38 amperes times 0 0.1 ohm minus yung value ng brush drop during full load is given as 2 volts. So minus 2 volts. This will give us 114.2 volts. At half load, gamitin pa rin natin yung equation na ito. Ngunit, dahil sinabi niyang half load, ibig sabihin yung armature current na 38 amperes, divide it by 2. Bakit hindi yung 40 amperes yung i-divide natin during half load? That is simply because ang load natin ay nakakonek po doon sa armature via the shaft. Kaya yung 38 amperes, yung IA natin, ang i-divide natin into 2 to get the half load current. IA H equal to 38 amperes divide this by 2. This will give us 19 amperes. Ito yung ngayon yung gagamitin natin na substitute sa equation na to. EB at half load equals 120 volts minus 19 amperes times 0 0.1 ohm minus yung voltage drop dun sa brushes during half load is 1 volt. Therefore, EB at half load is equal to 117.1 volts. Using the equation, EB is equal to number of poles, speed, number of conductors, multiply that by the flux, divide that by 60A. Constant yung value ng number of poles, number of conductors, armature, parallel paths, and wala po siyang tinukoy about the condition of the flux. Ibig sabihin, yung flux natin is considered equal during half load and full load. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng EB equals the constant values multiply that by the speed. Ngayon, yung relationship ng full load sa half load. We have EB FL over EB during the half load equals the speed during the full load Divide this by the speed during half load. Cross multiply natin ito. The speed during half load equals the speed during the full load. Yung back EMF during half load, pupunta dito sa taas. Divide that by back EMF during full load. You speed during full load that is given as 1,200 RPM. 
while the counter EMF or back EMF during half load is 117.1 volts. Divide ito ng 114.2 volts. This will give us 1,230.473 RPM or round off natin, we have 1,230 RPM. So, ito yung value ng speed during half load. We have another similar problem here. A shunt motor draws a current of 60 amperes from a 220 volt source and runs at 800 RPM at rated load. The armature and field circuit resistances are 0 0.12 ohm and 100 ohms respectively. Determine the speed of the motor at 3 fourth of its load. Assume a brass drop of 3 volts at rated load and 2 volts at 3 fourth load. So meron tayong condition at full load and at the same time 3 fourth load. Terminal voltage is given as 220 volts, that's positive and the negative. Then yung speed natin during the full load is 800 RPM. Meron siyang tinukoy dito na line current I L that is 60 amperes. Yung armature circuit resistance is given as 0.12 ohm and 100 ohms naman dito sa ating shunt field resistance. The voltage drop during the full load is equal to 3 volts. And during 3 fourth load, VB during 3 fourth that is equivalent to 2 volts. Ang inahanap natin dito yung speed during 3 fourth load. Kaya kukunin natin dito yung ating back EMF. Nandito yung ating IA, IL, and the ISH. We have the positive, negative, positive, negative. Then wag natin kalimutan yung voltage drop sa brush. Again, para makuha natin yung back EMF dito, mag-establish tayo ng loop. Let's say that is loop number 1. KVL at loop number 1, we have here positive 220 volts. Then next, minus IA times 0 0.12 ohm. Next, we have the brush drop minus VB then minus the back EMF equal to 0 again transpose natin to sa kabila we have positive EB equals 220 volts minus IA times 0 0.12 ohm minus VB kukunin natin ngayon yung value ng IA in order to do that dahil ang given natin is the line current dito sa problem na to Establish ulit tayo ng node dito. Let's say that is node A. KCL at node A, we have the summation of current in equals summation of current out. IL equals IA plus ISH. At full load, Yung line current natin, that is given as 60 amperes. Ngayon kunin natin yung ISH. ISH, this is VSH over RSH. Again, yung VSH natin is equal to 220 volts. VT, this is 220 volts. Divide that by 100 ohms. This is 2.2. 2 amperes. At full load, yung line current natin is 60 amperes equals IA plus 
2.2 amperes. Transpose natin sa kabila, magiging negative yan. Ia, therefore, is equal to 60 amperes minus 2.2 amperes. This will give us 57.8 amperes. Ito na yung value na gagamitin natin for this equation. Eb, during the full load, this is equivalent to 220 volts minus 57.8 amperes times 0 0.12 minus yung voltage drop natin during full load is 3 volts minus 3 volts this will give us 210.064 volts Ngayon kunin natin yung at 3 fourth load. EB at 3 fourth equals 220 volts minus. Ngayon naman, 3 fourth load ito. Ngayon kunin natin yung armature current during 3 fourth load. IA during 3 fourth load equals the armature current during full load that is 57.8 amperes multiply natin to ng 3 fourth this will give us 43.35 amperes ito yung gagamitin natin dito 43.35 amperes multiply natin to ng 0 0.12 ohm Minus the voltage drop during 3 fourth load is 2 volts. And this will give us EB during 3 fourth equals 212.798 volts. Using yung relationship na ginamit natin kanina, EB during full load, divide this by EB during the 3 fourth load equals the speed during full load and the speed during 3 fourth load cross multiply we have n the speed during 3 fourth load equals the speed during the full load multiply this by the back emf during 3 fourth load over back EMF during full load. Full load speed natin, that is 800 RPM. Multiply natin ito ng 212.798 volts. Divide this by 210.064. Therefore, the speed during 3 fourth load equals 810.412 RPM. We'll have more problems next time. Salamat po.